Installation of automatic remote control gate. Before you do that, you need to level the ground so that when you mount the plate, it will not adjust to one side. So that's what I'm doing first. After that, then you mount the plate. Before you mount the plate, you need it to be strong. So you need to drill a metal down to the ground before you mount it so that it will be very strong and firm. So you can see that I'm welding the plates that I've mounted on the ground to the metal that I've drilled to the ground to hold it firm. So I need to weld it well, strong and firm so that when the gate is in motion, it will not be shaking the motor, which will cause damage to the motor. So you can see that you can use the same strategy or the same step to install any type of automatic control remote kit. I'm still welding it strong and firmly so that it will not affect the machine. I'm yet to mount the rug that will drive the gate to the machine. This is the machine, this is the control button. Now using the machine, you can use a spanner, a bus spanner to do this. I've done using it with the spanner, so I'm just using my hand to pull it up. So I'm now welding the rug to the gate which would drive the machine. So you can see the rug. It is like a gear. You also need to weld the rug firm, strong to the gate. And it should be on of the machine. So I'm now setting the, the, the gate. So you can see that the gate is moving slowly. You can see that the rug is moving on the gear of the machine. So for the first time setting the machine, the gate will move slowly and go and hit the end of each stopper. So after it has hit the end of each stopper of each side, it will run fast to the end of each stopper again. So that's the speed that the machine will use after it has hit the end of each stopper. And you can equally high the speed on the machine or decrease the speed of, on the machine as how you want it to run. So it is still moving slowly. Now it has hit the both end of the stopper. So it's running for the second time to hit the both end of the stopper again. So now the speed has increased a bit. So you can see now. Good. That's the speed that I want to do. Now I'm testing the remote to see whether it is working or right after adding them. So when we press the remote, you can see the yellow light on it. After adding the remote, you need to add the remote first before it will work. So after adding it, you need to press press it go far, far away. Press and check whether it is working alright from distance. So 
that's what I'm doing now. So now my remote automatic control gate is set to work now. It also has a backup battery which work for 48 hours during light out or power outage. And it also has a direct electricity connection to the machine which charges the battery. The only way the electricity is to charge the battery, the backup battery, to back up batteries. To energizer back up battery. That's the only way the electricity does. So I'm still testing the remote from this start. I first tested it from 100 meters away and it works alright. So I'm testing it close to the gate and see whether it will work alright again. So another distance that's 50 meters away from the gate. Thanks for watching. Try and subscribe to the channel. Share, comment. Like, tap the bell button for new updates.